Hello friends, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great for anyone new to the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to show you exactly how you can get Heatran in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Okay, we are starting off in the fight area, the northeastern part of the map. You need to access this and you can only access this after the post game, so beating the Elite Four and you can only do the side quest after obtaining your national decks just to make sure in case anyone is aware you want to head out onto route 225 and this is the way we want to go look at all these makuitas popping up you want to just head up this way there are going to be npcs that you're going to have to battle along the way or dodge either one or um but yeah just be aware that there will be a few battles along the road here as we head towards stark mountain I'm gonna come across this bridge here and just make our way around. It's kind of like looping back on ourselves almost. And you're gonna go this way, back down towards this area and down this way. We'll hit another max repel on and you're gonna come past this house, down this route here. And you can either cut the trees or you can just walk through the grass, either or, whichever is quicker for yourself. Um, and then you want to make your way around this area. And you are on to the survival area. And once you're at the survival area, you can heal yourself at the Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Mart here, so you can recover after all those NPC battles. And you want to make your way onto Route 226. So here, you're going to have to rock climb up and we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Want to just come down here. So this is probably the most direct route to getting to the fight area, I would say. Come up here, you're gonna have NPCs here. You don't have to battle them, of course, if you don't want to. I'm gonna come down this first one and this will take you to the water. And once you're at the water, you kind of wanna just surf and you're going to have a few more NPCs. Like I said, there are quite a few NPCs to battle on your way through this route. You can come up this side of the house and this will take you to the next area where we want to be. And now you can see there's a route here that will take you to a, a further on section of, the, of this island. But this is the area where you want to come up here. Um, and then this is the bit that gets a little bit tricky because you're going to be having to get on your bike to do this. And... Uh, it's really frustrating doing this actually. Yeah, you're gonna need to be in that top gear to do this because otherwise you won't get enough momentum to kind of get over the, the rocks. Have we got our gear set? No, we haven't. There we go, okay, there we go. So you need to be in your top gear. I would dismount your bike when you're trying to do this next bit because it is super frustrating. Uh, just try and line yourself up with this next one and then get on your bike again. Obviously make sure you're on your top gear. Get off your bike and then edge your way around this corner because the controls in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl are terrible. Then you come up to this area and Crasher Wake and Wally or whoever your uh, rival will be uh, right here talking. And then they'll have a little conversation. They'll talk about Buck who's on his way and heading up to Stark Mountain where there's loads of trainers and things like that for you to uh, to go after and catch so you want to make your way up here come around here you're gonna to have to get on your bike again we'll meet you right here and he'll talk about um asking you to get the magma stone uh who, well whoever can get the magma stone first you want to just make your way through these paths here come down here you're gonna to have to fight this npc or you can dodge him if you can uh, and then you want to make your way up here you're at stark mountain come up this side slap on another max repel and then here we are so you can see this is where we go in so the first thing we want to do is just use rock smash and then we're going to have to use strength to push this stone all the way down these steps and this is a little bit of a frustrating bit of the guide but if you're wondering how to get down here it is just push it all the way down and you can see there's a little kind of space for it to be pushed into at the bottom here and we want to just make our way up to the next area so uh, just push the top push the bottom i'm sure you don't need me to tell you how to uh to do this but just in case 
This is a little bit frustrating this bit. Uh, you just gotta have a bit of patience with it. There's just a lot of rocks to push, break, and um, until you're able to get to the next route. And you can see Barry is also standing waiting to the entrance of the next cavern. So you just wanna make your way up here and push this boulder. Uh, you can grab the items while you're down here if you want, um, or you can just make your way and speak straight to Barry and make your way into the main cavern. And as you can see, when you speak to Barry, he says that he got wiped by Buck um, and he's making his way to the battle zone to get stronger or whatever. So you want to come through into this main cavern here and this is where you will encounter Buck again. Buck's basically going to say we should go after the Magma Stone together. Do you want to team up? Blah, 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 like that. So um, you team up with Buck. There is a lot of NPC trainers down here. So, but basically what you want to do is just take a left, head up to this little route here and then just carry on go right to the end here because there's only really one set of trainers that you need to battle down here to get to heat train you want to come down these steps just take a right at this point through this little shoot you can't use things like rock climb and stuff when you're with buck so you're kind of limited on on the the route that you're able to take you want to take these stairs up here and these are the only trainers that you're going to have to battle on the route to uh getting the magma stone or heatran's lair and um, so i'll just skip this one for us and then we will head over to this path here and then you're going to want to come down these stairs and we've got a little bit of a job ahead with pushing a boulder for what seems like forever, eternity. Don't know why Game Freak decided to leave this in here. Uh, it just feels a little bit unnecessary, but you, manage, you have to push this boulder right to the end to access this staircase. And then this will take you to Heatran's lair. Um, and yeah, basically Buck's going to say, well, it's my turn. I'm going in first. So Buck goes in ahead of you and uh, you follow him in and he has already already picked up the magma stone uh, so out of luck this time osiris pretty much we are out of luck buck has um taken it but not heatran here mountain rumbles and then buck decides that he's gonna skedaddle back to his um to his house and this is the next stage of this quest we need to uh, exit the cave and go back to visit buck's house so we do have an escape rope, which is going to be quite useful. Um, if not, if you haven't got one, just follow the same route as we took in. And once you're outside the cave system, you want to make your way back to the survival area. And um, you want to visit Buck and his grandpa in their house. So once you're here, you want to just take a left outside the Pokemon Center and uh, just come to this house right next door to it and Buck and his grandpa will be inside. You can speak to either first. Um, grandpa kind of says that you should put it back. Buck has a change of heart and uh, decides that he's going to go and put the Magma Stone back. Uh, we kind of did this the wrong way around talking to Buck first, but um, yeah, the old man kind of makes Buck feel a little bit guilty. Um, so Buck on his way to put the Magma Stone back. What we need to do is go back up to Stark Mountain now. So we'll be back at the entrance of the cave. Okay, so we're outside Stark Mountain again. We're back here. We are going to now encounter Heatran. Buck should have put the Magma Stone back. So it should mean that Heatran has appeared. Now we want to just come back into the Stark Mountain follow the kind of the same route as we did before although this time around we're not going to have buck as our partner so we're going to be able to use rock climb which means that there is a much quicker route to getting to the heatran cave to kind of encounter it so you've kind of done the 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 longer slog already you want to just follow this path around the way i'm doing it obviously you already know the way because you've been into this cavern before it's just this is probably the most tedious bit again of this process but this time around we don't have to um, push a boulder for about half the length of the cavern which is always good so as you can see we're coming up and we're going to enter the main cavern system now which is good and we can just follow this path down this is where we met Buck remember and we want to just go the same route the same route as we went to before as you can see, we're going to have to rock smash again. And this time we want to just head right to the top. And it's the second set of stairs here that we want to come down. 
and we want to head straight up. There will be a couple of NPCs here that you're going to have to battle, um, but once they're done, it is probably quicker battling them, and then we can climb up here and we are at the entrance of the cavern and once we go in you will just want to make your way to this area here and heatran is waiting to battle you so what you want to do at this point is probably save your game because you can either soft reset for heatran or you can shiny hunt for heatran so um by soft resetting of course i mean you can go for ivs better ivs better natures but the thing is with heatran we've got access to nature mints in this game and we got access to bottle caps which makes this process of just catching heatran a lot easier so you don't need to soft reset unless you're for that shiny and then it's probably a better method to just save soft reset come back in and check if it's a shiny every time but uh, that about wraps up this guide uh, that's everything that i wanted to cover here showing you the way to get to heatran in stalk mountain the path to take the easiest way to get to it and then what you have to do once you've got the magma stone with buck coming back and forth and then you're able to kind of catch heatran so hope you've enjoyed today's episode hope you found it useful if you have please consider dropping a like on the video do consider subscribing to the channel as well for more Pokemon content and more brilliant Diamond and Shannon Pearl guides that we've got coming on the way. Uh, have a great rest of your day and take care of yourselves more importantly than anything else and I'll see you all for another video very soon. So until then friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.